I had been doing some freelance work for Bill uh, on, on doing some freelance animation uh, on some of the uh, specials that he had been doing. And uh, so when the job ran out at the Patty Freely, then I called him up. I said, you know, is there anything? He said, yeah, come on over. And so then uh, that's when he hired me uh, full time as an animator. And uh, so uh, I, I we're, we're working on, uh, I think it was Snoopy Come Home, the, the feature. And uh, then he started doing uh, uh, Charlie Brown uh, Thanksgiving. And so uh, halfway through that, he, he just got tied up on something else. He says, Phil, he says, could you finish directing uh, the rest of this uh, special? And uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, to direct, I mean, I, I always wanted to direct, but I'd never uh, had been given the opportunity. And so, so I just went ahead and did it, just following, you know, because he had, he, again, he had his own way of working, and he kind of ran through, he says, you know, working on bar sheets and timing things out a certain way and stuff. So, you know, uh, I, ju I just followed uh, the way he had, uh, the system he had set up. And, and sure enough, you know, we, we did it, came out and fine. So after that, you know, I, I directed the next, uh, 14 uh, specials, uh, Charlie Brown specials that Bill did. He was busy on other projects, you know, because uh, they, they had other things, and, uh, but, he, but he would be involved in uh, dealing with Sparky, with Schultz. He, he would be uh, doing the storyboard and developing that, uh, doing the recording sessions, and, uh, uh, and, and a lot of it, because that required a lot of time. And so the day-to-day Doing the timing, the you know, dealing with the animators and all, all of the other stuff, uh, you know, I just took that off of his back, and uh, where he had more time to de uh, deal with uh, the, the run the business and the, the new new projects and uh, the new specials and things like that. He is uh, again one of my heroes. He's uh, uh, he along with Chuck and uh, some of the other guys, uh, you know, because uh, being uh, uh, a Mexican. Uh, he, you know, he was one of my heroes because, uh, as an example, something to reach for, to attain, because he, he was actually born in Mexico, and I was born here. But again, uh, the the ethnic thing was very strong, as a, as, a, as an example. So to actually have worked with him, and, uh, and 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 been part of his studio, and contributed. To, I mean, to me, to me, just one of the big highlights in my uh, in my career. But uh, he's uh, a, a very, very talented guy. He, he's, his background, he had worked with Warner Brothers and, uh, and a lot of the shorts, and then he'd worked in commercials at uh, Playhouse Pictures. And, uh, and, and so he, he, and, and he, he can really draw. I mean, he's got this great style of drawing and does some great caricatures of himself. And, uh, but again, you know, he's got this great big mustache. And, <laughs> and uh, he's just a, 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 a great guy. Uh, and so, like I said earlier, that when I set out to uh, start my own studio, I patterned it after, um, after his studio and, and after Chuck Jones' studio, because uh, those to me were the most fun, where I enjoyed not only uh, creatively, but also dealing uh, with, with the people and the artists. And that. So, and, uh, and it seemed to have worked out for me, because you, you have to make a, a place that's artist friendly, where they can feel they can uh, create uh, to their you know, best efforts. The first one was uh, that Christmas special. And uh, again, I mean, that made a big hit right off the bat, because again, these little characters, uh, see, the, the these Peanuts characters, I don't think were meant to, were drawn to be animated, <laughs> because uh, they're, they're very flat. The only one that can, is animatable is like Snoopy because he, you can actually turn him around. The other characters are you know, very, either look this way or look you know, from the front or three quarters but uh, or, or sideways. But again, there's some poses where they don't look that good. So you have to uh, design them to where you, you maximize uh, their strength, you know, the way the, the Sparky drew them. And, uh, 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 and again, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a challenge and they have little feet, you know. They, they, and to, you know, they don't have the feet where they actually do very uh, elaborate walks, you know, just little. And, and so to bring those elements in, uh, as, as you know, I was just 
uh, enthralled at the way how Bill uh, solved this problem and how he, uh, uh, and, and then the style of the backgrounds, you know, they had a, a, a nice watercolor, rich look to them and uh, they, uh, and, and then his timing, you know, how, how he brings out the best in the storytelling. And, and then of course, uh, Vince Guaraldi's music, you know, was uh, very, very distinctive. 